Good morning, everyone. Today, I'll be presenting research findings on Beyond the Ice, Public and Scientific Insights into Polar Melting and Sea Level Rise. This study comes from the Universidad Nacional de Córdoba in Argentina, conducted by researchers Josefina Aguero and Ariel Leonel Medina. Global warming has become one of our most pressing environmental challenges. As I'll discuss today, human activities are accelerating unprecedented changes in our environment. The melting of glaciers and polar ice isn't just raising sea levels, it's triggering a cascade of effects on ecosystems and permafrost stability, creating a compound global impact that demands our immediate attention. The researchers conducted a comprehensive analysis of five key terms related to glacial and polar melting, permafrost, sea level, Moulin Glacier, Glacial Melting, and Glacier Outfall. They used three major Google platforms, Standard Google Search, Google Scholar, and Google Trends, to assess both public interest and scientific guidance on these critical climate change issues. The study employed a systematic approach to bibliographic research, utilizing different Internet search engines. The researchers tracked the frequency and context of these five key terms, analyzing their appearance rates and geographic distribution. This methodology allowed them to measure both global reach and regional interest in these critical environmental phenomena. The Google search results revealed fascinating patterns. Sea level emerged as the most searched term, with over 384 million results in a one-year period. This suggests widespread public concern about rising sea levels, likely due to its direct impact on coastal communities worldwide. The other terms showed significantly lower search volumes, indicating a potential gap in public awareness. Let's examine the fascinating Google Trends data for permafrost. The map reveals strongest interest in the Svalbard and John Mayen region, with a perfect score of 100. This heightened interest stems from these areas' unique Arctic ecology and strict environmental regulations designed to protect their fragile permafrost. These regions have become focal points for both scientific research and tourism due to their distinctive landscapes and their role in understanding climate change impacts. Moving to our analysis of glacier fall, we discovered an intriguing pattern in Iceland. The country shows the highest interest globally, highlighting a complex relationship between tourism and environmental concerns. This interest is driven by what's known as last-chance tourism, where visitors rush to experience disappearing glacial landscapes. However, this creates a paradox as increased tourism potentially contributes to the very environmental degradation people are coming to witness. The academic perspective, as revealed through Google Scholar searches, shows a different pattern. Within the past five years, sea level remained the most studied topic with 417,000 results, followed by permafrost with 49,400 results. This academic focus suggests that while some topics may receive less public attention, they maintain significant importance in scientific research. Our analysis reveals a notable disparity between public interest and academic focus. While sea level rise dominates public searches due to its immediate relevance to many populations, academic research maintains a broader focus across all aspects of polar melting. This suggests a need to bridge the gap between scientific understanding and public awareness. Based on our findings, we've developed several key recommendations. First, we need enhanced educational programs about climate change. Second, there must be increased support for research and policy implementation. Third, we need to promote more responsible tourism practices. And finally, we must ensure greater community participation in environmental decision-making. The researchers extend their gratitude to the Facultad de Ciencias Químicas and their professors, particularly Belen Blanco and Walter Pelayas, 
for their guidance and support throughout this study. The study drew from a wide range of sources, including academic databases and current news sources, 